Today it's April favorites and oh my gosh, do I have a lot to talk about. That's coming up next. Welcome in, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Today it's April favorites, and oh my gosh, I have so many things to talk about. So buckle up, get comfy, grab yourself something to drink, and let's hop in. If you're new here, welcome in. I'm so glad you stopped by. I hope you'll consider subscribing and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. We're going to hop right into the April favorites. And as always, all products that I mentioned today will be listed and linked below. And they'll also be over on the blog, so super easy for you to find. And with that, let's hop into it. Gosh, I have so many things to share today. I have makeup, I have skincare, I have one lifestyle item, and I have one piece of clothing that I can't stop wearing. Let's start off with makeup. I'm still working through my never ending makeup shopping spree. <laughs> it seems to continue. I found so very many good things and I wanna shout out a few this month. The first one is a foundation and I found a few foundations recently that I'm absolutely loving. The one I wanna talk about today is the Revlon Colorstay 24 Hour Foundation. Have you tried this? Oh my gosh. This is not a new foundation. It's been around for quite some time, and it's actually an absolute holy grail and favorite for so many people. I had never tried it before. I tried it this month, and oh my gosh, they're right. This is such a good foundation. I picked it up in the Normal to Dry Skin formula. I think it comes in a few formulas, but I got the Normal to Dry my skin is more normal, but I thought the dry part might make it a little bit more hydrating for mature skin. I have it in the color 200 Nude, which is a great fit for my skin. This is a lovely foundation. Easy to put on, easy to work with, looks terrific on the skin. And the one thing that I really noticed when I used it is that it looks so skin-like. You know how you can put some foundations on and they look like they're just sitting on top of your skin? This doesn't do it. It just soaks right into your skin. You can see it right there. Really, really pretty foundation. Great look on the skin. Drugstore price. I mean, what more can you ask for from a foundation? This one here says natural finish, and they're not kidding. It really is a natural finish. I don't know if it comes in other finishes like dewy or glowy or whatever, but I can tell you this one is terrific. It does say SPF 20, which is nice. I never count on a foundation for my SPF, but it is nice when they add a little bit in, as long as it doesn't change the formula or make the formula less attractive. So really loving the Revlon Colorstay 24 hour normal to dry skin formula in the natural finish. I'm in the color 200. The great concealer hunt continues. And I'll tell you what, you guys, I think I've tried 30 concealers in the last couple of months and I'm gonna continue on. What I'm doing is that I'm separating them out from, yeah, I kinda like it, to no, I really don't like it. And then when I have a good collection of, yeah, I kind of like them, I'm going to start going through them more thoroughly and really deciding which ones are the best ones and which ones are the holy grails. I do have one concealer right now of all the ones that I've tried that I can tell you, whoa, this one is so good. And surprisingly, it's at a drugstore price. I'm not kidding you. I have tried several 30, 40, 50 dollar concealers that are not nearly as good as this Neutrogena concealer. And guess what? This comes in a stick. I can't even believe how good this concealer is. You know, I picked this up just on a whim. I was shopping probably in Walmart and I threw it in my car because I thought, you know, I'm going to try every single concealer on the planet if I can find them. And I thought, I'll give this one a whirl. I had no high hopes for this at all because it's a stick concealer. I mean, how good can a stick concealer be for mature under eyes? I have a lot of wrinkles and crinkles underneath there. When I first tried this, I was blown out of the water and every single time I've used it since, it is amazing. I don't know what's in this. They do talk about there being a little hydrating core in this. This concealer is so very good. It is absolutely my favorite of all that I've tried so far. This is in the color Fair and I wouldn't mind if it was a little bit lighter than this. I'm not sure if there is a lighter color than the Fair. 
I like my under eyes to be a little bit brighter than the rest of my face because it gets a little shadowy in this area because my skin is not taut like it was when I was younger. So I like a little bit brighter under eyes than this actually offers, but the formula is phenomenal. It is without a doubt the best that I've tried so far and I'm absolutely certain that it's gonna be in my yeah, really good concealer lineup. If you haven't tried this and you're looking for a concealer and you like drugstore makeup, I can tell you this one is a hit with me. This is the Neutrogena Concealer. I'm not sure if there's some kind of fancy name for it. I can hardly read it on this container right here. I think it might be Hydrating Concealer. Anyway, it looks just like this. I have found so many good makeup products this month and another one is the Milani Cheek Kiss Blush Line. Have you tried these? Oh my gosh, these cream blushes are just so very good. I have this one, which is in the color I Cherish You, like Cherry Cherish You. And I also have another one, I can't remember the name right now, but it's more of a peachy tone. These blushes are so beautiful. First of all, the formula is interesting for a cream blush. It's not the standard cream blush feel. It feels more oily or slick. And I know that doesn't sound very attractive, but it really is a nice formula. Look at how bright that that looks on my fingers right here. But when you tap it on the skin and start blending it in, they're just so very beautiful. And you can see how that is shearing out. The colors look so terrific. They look natural. It's really, really easy to blend them with the other products on your cheeks. And what I do after I've tapped it in with my fingers is I'll take my sponge and really tap around the edges to blend it in really smoothly with my contour and my highlight. These are so good. They're at a drugstore price. They're from Milani, which is one of my favorite drugstore brands. So I'm absolutely loving this Cheek Kiss line. I'm not sure how many colors are in this line, but I think I'm going to go back and order additional colors that are appropriate for my skin tone so I can test them and try them in upcoming makeup videos. Really, really appreciating this line of cream cheek products from Milani. I found a contour product this month that is so good and I'm so glad that I found it. It is kind of from a more obscure brand, Catrice Cosmetics. I don't know if you're familiar with Catrice. It is a drugstore line. And where I actually found this was on the Catrice website. I haven't seen this in stores anywhere. This is the Catrice Triangle Artist Contour Stick. It comes in this little kind of triangle tube, hence the name, Triangle Artist. And this is the color Warm Brown, which was actually the only color that I found on the Catrice website. This contour is so great and it works so well. It is in a great color, and even though it says warm brown, it's really not very warm. It's more of a cool or neutral tone. The really wonderful thing about this product is the formulation. It's very, very creamy, blends in beautifully, and the way that it contours the face is so wonderful. Here, I'll blend it in right here, and you can see it creates just the most beautiful look on the skin. I use my Real Techniques stippling brush to just stipple it over the areas that I'm working with. I love this product so much. It looks so good. It wears so well. The color is so subtle yet so effective. And it's at a drugstore price. Honestly, I think it's maybe seven or eight dollars. It's really so very affordable. I am so happy to find this because I haven't found any other cream contour product other than the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand, which is a very high-end product that I like as much as I like this one. This is really, really terrific. Again, I picked it up in the color Warm Brown. I did look on the Catrice website a couple of days ago to see if there were other colors. I didn't see any other colors there. I don't know if that means there's not any more on the line or if they're just sold out. So absolutely one of my favorites for April the Catrice Triangle Artist Contour Stick. I do want to talk about the Maybelline Sky High Mascara, and I know I may have mentioned this in last month's favorites, but I don't care. <laughs> I want to talk about it again. This mascara is so very good. Mel from Mel C's Makeup and Style suggested that I give this a try. We did a collab together a couple of months ago. She said, you got to try this mascara. I said, okay. I did, and I've been blown away ever since. 
This is actually the mascara that I reach for all the time. It is so good. It goes on so easily. It really, really lengthens my lashes. Of course, Maybelline, so drugstore price. One of the things I've been adding to this recently is the L'Oreal Voluminous Base. This is a mascara primer. And I find that when I use the primer first and then this over it, my lashes are not only super, super long, but they're much thicker and they look more voluminous. So that's what I have on my eyes today, this combination. And I really do like the combination of the two. This mascara alone is phenomenal. It really is. It looks so great, wears so well, and is not a fight to take off at night, which I really appreciate it. What really kicked it over the edge is adding this L'Oreal mascara base to it. So a great, terrific combination for long, full, voluminous lashes. I have two eyeshadow palettes I want to talk about today. The first one is from my beloved Sigma. I am so in love with the Sigma eyeshadow palettes. And this Essentials palette from Sigma is the one that stays on my makeup table all the time because it just has all the essentials. It's exactly perfectly named. It almost doesn't matter what eye look I'm putting together for the day. I will always reach for this to add little touches or little details to my eye makeup look. This particular color, Snow, right here is so very good, particularly for my mature eyes. I use this to highlight my brow bone and also to counteract the shadowing that I get in the inside corner of my eye. Because not only am I getting a shadow from my brow area, but the skin is a little bit looser there than it used to be. So I get a shadow from that loose skin on the inside of my eyes. When I put a little bit of snow there, it just brightens everything up and makes my eyes just look a lot fresher and a lot more open. In addition, if I want to put together just a really quick neutral look, just a daytime, everyday look, this is my go-to palette. And if I'm going to be using some makeup when I'm hiking, which is not very common, but sometimes I do, I'll use this little color right here, Nutmeg, all over the lid, one and done, some mascara. It's such a pretty look and very natural looking for when I've decided to wear a little bit of makeup during hiking. So absolutely the Sigma Essentials palette. These formulas are so good. They almost blend themselves. I use this all the time and really, really would miss it if I didn't have it. The next eyeshadow palette is the On Cloud Blue palette from ColourPop. And this is not gonna be for everyone, but if you're into blue eyeshadow, which apparently I've been lately, this is such a cool palette. Isn't that just so very pretty? I mean, if you're into blue, this is blue. And one thing I can say about this palette is that these formulas are so good and so pigmented. This one palette will last you and all your blue loving friends for the rest of your lives. <laughs> Truly, you need so very little of the shadows in this palette. I've created several looks with this palette and what I find is that when I'm doing blue, less is more. Keeping it really, really light really helps the look to shine. You don't need much blue eyeshadow, but by golly, this palette has almost every eyeshadow color that you would need. It's a ColourPop formula, so you know they're going to be blendable and stay on your eyelids, and it's very, very affordable. I have used almost every color in this palette. The one that I don't really use is this one in the middle. I believe that's a Super Shock shadow, and it has that really chunky glitter, which just doesn't work for my more mature eyes. But every other color has been really, really fun, and I enjoy using this darker color here in the corner to line my eyes with a little angled brush and it's a pretty, pretty look. If you're interested in blue eyeshadow, I can tell you this is a great palette at a great price. How you doing? You hanging in there okay? I wanna talk about a few skincare products right now, and the first one is so very good. I mean it, so very good. I have been using this for months and months and months, and it is the Clavu Nourishing Care Lip Sleeping Pack. This is one of the best lip balms I have ever come across, ever, ever, ever. It comes in this cute little jar, and you can see I have been using this for months and months and months. This is the one that stays on my nightstand, and I'll put this on my lips before I go to sleep at night. This formula is so nourishing and so moisturizing. 
I'll just put a little bit on my finger right here, rub it around my lips, and I'll wake up in the morning and my lips are heavenly. The formula itself is very emollient, but it's not super sticky and it doesn't feel uncomfortable. It feels more silky and moisturizing on my lips. What I can say is if you're looking for a really, really good lip hydrating formula, this is excellent. So the Clawboo Nourishing Care Lip Sleeping Pack just a fabulous formula. Let's talk about sunscreen. I know it's getting to be that time of the year. Of course, we need to be wearing our sunscreen all year long, but now that we're into the spring and summer months, it becomes doubly important. I will be doing a full sunscreen video featuring all my favorites, but today I want to talk about the two that are absolute staples in my beauty routine. The first one and the one that I use underneath makeup when I'm doing makeup for the day, my absolute favorite is the Dermatology Broad Spectrum SPF 45. This formula actually comes in a regular formulation and a tinted formulation. A lot of people really love the tinted formulation. It's not my favorite. I prefer just the regular SPF 45. This is a combination sunscreen, chemical and physical, and oh my gosh, the reason that this is my absolute favorite for underneath makeup is that it doesn't feel like a sunscreen, it feels like a moisturizer or skincare. It's not stiff, it's not heavy, and it plays so well under makeup. I will put this on after my skincare, I'll generally wait about 10 to 15 minutes after I've done my morning skincare routine to put the sunscreen on. Then I'll wait another 15 to 20 minutes before I do my makeup. It doesn't peel up on me. It doesn't get fussy underneath my makeup. It really, really is a beautiful formulation. So absolutely my favorite formula for underneath makeup is the Dermatology Broad Spectrum 45 sunscreen. As far as what I use when I am not wearing a full face of makeup, in other words, when I'm hiking or kayaking, I am outdoors hiking or kayaking three to four days a week and sometimes even more. The one that I use regularly is the Australian Gold Botanical 50. This is my absolute go-to for my face, the front of my neck, the back of my neck, and my decollete when I'm going to be out in the sun. This is a terrific formula. Here's what I love about it so much and why I don't dread putting it on before I'm leaving to go out for the day. It doesn't get dry as the day goes on. A lot of sunscreens I've found, particularly ones that are a little thicker and a little heavier, they dry out during the day and my skin ends up feeling like the Sahara Desert within a couple of hours. This doesn't do that. It keeps my face moist and it feels nice. This is a tinted sunscreen and apparently now they have several different tints for different skin tones. I think that they used to just have a couple. It sinks in nicely. It looks good on my skin. It adds a little bit of coverage which is always nice. So the days when I'm just wearing sunscreen and no makeup, it's the Australian Botanical Broad Spectrum SPF 50 sunscreen. I have one lifestyle item I want to share today and it's directly from you guys asking. I've had a few of you ask me what I do to keep my teeth white. I've actually been using a teeth whitening system, gosh, for probably a year and a half now and I actually did a video on it way back at the beginning of my channel. I'll go ahead and link it up here if you're interested. What I did is I researched a lot of the teeth whitening systems. I really did a lot of research and I chose one that I felt really had the technology that I was looking for at an affordable price. This is from a company called Purewell and I've been using it ever since. I no longer have the box anymore because I just now have the little items that I use to whiten my teeth. This is the brush that I brush on the whitening gel onto my teeth and then this is the little unit that lights up and activates that whitening gel. I love this system. I've been using it, gosh, for a year and a half and have no desire to find another one because this one works so well and it's so very easy. I simply just brush the gel onto my teeth stick this into my mouth, and then this plugs into my computer. It also has a little attachment where you could plug it into your phone as well, and that's what powers the light that activates the gel on your teeth. 
all I'll do is put the gel on my teeth, stick this in my mouth, plug it into my computer, and watch a YouTube video, and boom, I've whitened my teeth, and all I've done is sit there. I love this system. It's very affordably priced. Everything has worked really well. In other words, when I'm using devices or little tools or such, I don't like anything that's fussy or hard to use or breaks or just doesn't work efficiently. That just really, really bugs me. This one works really, really well. In addition, when you run out of these little pins, you can just order one or two off the PureWell website and boom, you're ready to go. If you're looking for a very affordable, very effective tooth whitening system, I can tell you, I'm still loving this one after many, many months down the road. Well, congratulations, you've made it almost all the way through. I just have one more favorite I wanna share with you. These are the pants I can't stop wearing, literally cannot stop wearing. I ordered these off of Amazon and they're gonna look just like a black blob here, but I'll go ahead and throw up a picture of me wearing these pants. And how these differ from regular kind of yoga pants is that they're gathered around the ankles. They're a little bit looser through the thigh area and they have pockets. These have become my absolute staple pants and I've actually ordered three pairs so far. I love them that much. This is in a dark camo color and I don't think you can actually see it on the camera. You might be able to pick up a little bit. It's kind of like a gray on black camel pattern. I wear these pants when I'm just going to be bopping around town and I also wear them when I'm going hiking. They are so comfortable for hiking and they wash up so well and so easily. In addition, they're the really stretch fabric. So if I'm hiking up hills or mountains or boulders, super, super comfortable. The banded bottoms are such a cute look to me and I'll pair these up with like my white sneakers or maybe some flat boots to wear them out to a meal or when I'm just meeting friends or that sort of thing. These have been such a big part of my wardrobe and actually, I look forward to putting them on every single time. That's how good they are. They're super affordable. They come in, gosh, so many different colors and finishes. I'll probably end up buying a few more because I wear them so often. Absolutely loving these versatile jogger pants. They become a huge part of my wardrobe. Woo, well, gosh, you guys, those are my favorites for the month of April. I found so many great things. It's so fun to find new products at great prices that really are a nice addition to life. And I hope that you found a few things that you might find interesting and helpful. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 and over 60 woman, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot of great information just waiting for you there. Thank you so much for stopping by for the April favorites. I appreciate your time and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day. Wear your sunscreen and all. See you in the next video. Bye now.